All right, what's going on, everybody? Um, I just wanted to put a quick video together for some of my students that are getting their license, okay? And most of the cars that you guys are going to be purchasing will have cruise control functionality. And I always go through it inside of the driving lesson with them, but I also wanted to give them a little bit of a, a supplemental information, all right? So the cruise control lever in this car anyways, okay? There's a little, this is the steering wheel, okay? Um, there's a little stock right behind the right-hand side of the steering wheel. Uh, wheel here. Okay. Um, as you can tell, it says set. All right. Resume. Okay. Um, and then on the side of it, there's an on and off switch. Okay. Right here. Um, and then above that, it says cancel. Okay. So the easiest way to figure out how this thing works. All right. And it's going to be true for every probably 99% of the cars that are manufactured or sold in America here. Okay. Notice the triangle. All right. So um, the point or the tip of the triangle is where the culmination of uh, the action that's being taken place. Meaning if you wanted to set your speed, okay, you would then push down because the point is pointing downward, okay? If you wanted to resume after you've, let's say, cancel your cruise function, then you would hit up, all right? To s basically to turn on the cruise control functionality, like I said, there's a little push button switch here, okay? And then if you look, right, the cancel has a triangular pushing towards the back of the steering wheel, all right? Let me get a better picture for you right there. Right. So then what you would do is you would pull it towards the back of the steering wheel. OK, so let's say you're driving along and you have the cruise function turned on. OK, if you wanted to set the speed of the car at a certain predetermined speed, let's say 40, 50 miles an hour, whatever it is, you get to 50 miles an hour, you push down. OK, once you push down, you'll notice that the car is going to maintain that speed now. All right. Just because you're on cruise control doesn't mean that the car drives itself. It just means that it's going to maintain that speed for you. OK. If you go on the gas, the car will accelerate. As soon as you come off of the gas pedal, your car will then go back to that predetermined speed, okay? Um, you can take off cruise control by a couple of um, ways. You can tap on the brakes. Basically, just as soon as you apply the brakes, the cruise functionality basically turns off, okay? It says, oh, you know what? They want to now slow the vehicle down, so therefore, I'm going to take the car off of cruise control, okay? Or you can use the lever, like the where it says right here, cancel, okay? You just pull it towards the back of the steering wheel and then it cancels that cruise functionality, all right? So going back to it again, let's say we had it on 55 miles an hour or 60 miles an hour and you wanted to increase speed, okay? Notice how right next to the resume button, there's a plus. Next to the set, there's a minus, okay? You push up to increase the speed from 50 to 51 miles an hour or 52 miles an hour, okay? So you can hit it a couple of times or you can simply hold the lever and then it's going to increase the speed of the vehicle now, okay? Same thing, vice versa, if you wanted to decrease the speed of the car or well, you just hold down or you can hit cancel a couple of times, okay? Um, so that's how you would go about increasing the set speed or decreasing the set speed, okay? Now, let's say you're driving along and you have cruise control on and you tap on the brakes, right? So now the car decelerates from 50 miles an hour to let's say, you know, 45, 40 miles an hour and you want it to go back to that preset 50 miles an hour. You wouldn't have to accelerate with the gas pedal and then hit set again, okay? All you would simply do is hit resume and the computer will then go back to the last save um, speed that you set. All right. So hopefully that makes sense for everybody. OK. Um, but like I said, cruise functionality is super beneficial and every single car that you're going to be in will have it. So, you know, you might as well learn how to use it. All right. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in.